Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dennis Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Roam going for the Kingdom of David achievement. In the last episode we finally won our long-standing war against the Antigone Kingdom. It was bloody, it was brutal, we lost a lot of men and uh, yeah it was incredibly fun to play. Uh, so we have expanded quite a bit as you can see now and uh, we have a majority of the region of Syria. All we need now is pretty much what Bambis have got here, this tiny little fraction, and um, I think that's about it. And we also need to take these little two city-states here, but that's not going to be too tricky. And then the Antigonid Kingdom is finished, so we've pretty much weakened them quite a bit. We've taken the old capital Antigonia. Off camera, I have built a load of forts, as you can see, I'm building some now. Just trying to kind of lock the whole area down, because the forts in provinces, it reduces unrest, and of course, then loyalty will go up, so it's kind of pretty useful. So I've done that. In some other areas that we previously conquered down here and here, I've changed the policies to assimilation, uh, to conversion, sorry, because I want to make sure we get as many Jewish pops as we can actually get down here and just spread the Jewish faith. So hopefully we can spread all of this all over here. And uh, now we're just going to focus on trying to replenish our troops, tech up a little bit maybe. We need to kind of buy some tech. We make a lot of gold per month. We make, um, well, not here, we only make 10, but if I go for next month, we only make 50 per month, which is massive. Um, I also want to start off by giving this guy a triumph. Now, I didn't know this, but I pay 30 political influence, and then he gains loyalty, and we remove him from command. He gains a trait conqueror, but we get rid of him, and I really want to try this out. So there we go. He gains loyalty, he gains popularity, he gained a cognomen, so he's known as the Victorious. And now this kind of gets rid of the army here, and uh, or gets rid of the command of the army, and most of the troops... Sorry, oh, let's just advance. There we go. Most of the troops are loyal to somebody. So this actually works out quite well. Um, a lot of them are loyal to Milk, uh, Milker and Balhanid the Victorious. But, 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 quite a few of them are loyal to the king. And there's not many troops that don't, that like, need any extra loyalty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to probably assign you to the governor here. Yep, the governor Levi Manali. This would help us immensely with um, loyalty issues and I'm hoping by having these guys on governor control over here maybe what if I was to change the policy in this area maybe here well, I've already changed it which was a shame but what if I was to change this to religious conversion yes it would work that's really really good so I can actually change all this to religious conversion to be honest I don't know why I didn't do that before. I've wasted a bit of political influence this way. But oh well, it, it is what it is. I should have probably checked beforehand, to be honest. So let's swap all this to religious conversion. The loyalty, province loyalty, is going up nicely. So now hopefully we can spread the Jewish religion in these lands pretty well. What about down here? Is this all Jewish? It is all Jewish. Which is cool. Is this Jewish? It is turning into Jewish, so that's good. Um, and so that's that. That's the pretty good problem solved. Um, the main army, who's only got 2k stack left, I'm sending them back to Jerusalem to kind of replenish up here. Um, this is the Syria governor force. I will move you guys up here on the coast here. I don't want to keep you down there. What else do I want to do? Um, maybe something to do with culture. I'm thinking, I mean, we have a lot of Macedonian pots and a lot of areas which are like Macedonian culture. I could integrate them, I suppose. Maybe it's something we could do. What if I was to... What if I was to integrate them? Could I, should, should I integrate them? Maybe pop and maybe give them like access to like nobility. I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. I really don't know. I still don't really know what to do with culture just yet. To be honest, I'm kind of stuck. I I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so I'm definitely gonna think on that. I as I said, I have no idea what I'm really gonna do with that. So that is all done down there, which is pretty cool. Um, here, this fort, I am going to keep for the moment. Just because it stops them moving. So I'll quite happily keep that there. Um, the rest of the stuff is fine. I don't need to change anything else. So let's start things off by going for a tradition here. I have a fair amount of military experience. So let's go for... Actually no. I'm going to wait a little bit till I get a little bit more. And then I'll take something. Not just yet. I can put these guys on drill for the moment. Since we have very little men. And we can maintain the high level of experience that we gain per month so 0.87 and hopefully get as much as we can tech wise we're going to go for some i'm going to go for the standardized provisioning fort maintenance minus 10 percent yes please uh, then we're going to go for maritime patrols 
I think. Or maybe loyalty. No, omen power. We'll go for the omen power plus 5%. Because we have the omen which increases our manpower recovery speed. So here, so that should increase it a little bit here. Um, and we'll go for something else maybe. Rule of pop gain. Loyalty of characters is quite nice. And Minister of Patronage is a pretty good thing to have. And then maybe go for, we'll just probably go through the tech, to be honest. I mean, why not? We make a lot of gold per month. Can I change you? Are you? No, I don't have better than you. I have better than you, and who are you? You're Levy Iscariot. You are loyal to me. What's your power base? A lot, so I'm not getting rid of you. No way. You need to kind of pay attention to power base. Um, the rest I'll keep. I think that's fine. And what is our tech level, by the way? 173%. Wow. Uh, we also want to change some of our national ideas here. So I'm going to get rid of the discipline here. And I'm going to go for the monthly corruption, sanction privileges. Because I think we have a little bit of corruption. We do. And I want to get it down. So um, we'll definitely do that. Um, what next? Do I have any other children? You're 14. So I could probably get my tutor to educate you. And I'll definitely give you a martial education again. See if we can get something decent out of you. Now that was done, and I think we can like get things rolling pretty well here. I'm going to pop you on that there. I'll get you on military experience. Um, we make enough. I mean, 50 gold. Because again, we have very few troops to maintain. So obviously that does affect the amount of gold we make per month. And now what we need to do is just get a manpower back and then do another war against the Antigonid Kingdom. And then we need to either focus on the Seleucid or Egyptian. So maybe I'm thinking focusing on the Seleucid. Just because Egypt is our ally. And they could help us fight. I can't call the Seleucids in to fight the Egyptians. So maybe we use the Egyptians to fight the Seleucids. And then once that's done, we'll take the um, Egyptians out. Because now we're pretty big. I, th I think we can pretty much hold our own against Egypt if they ever tried to attack us. I mean, tech-wise, we have some nice, some significant advantage. We have three levels ahead of these guys. Aeolia, they want spices. Be my guest, dudes. Really, be my guest. As soon as you guys hit here, I'll assign you to the king. Um, and there we go. Put you on drill. That's what we want. You guys are here. I'm going to get you guys on drill also. I want to maintain this high military experience. It's really important we maintain it high. The higher it is, the more we make. The quicker we can get through the traditions, of course. And the traditions here, there's some pretty cool stuff. And especially this one here. The heavy infantry offense and heavy infantry defense is fucking massive. Lord Chief Generals is big as well. I can't stress how big it is. And then we could definitely go down like maybe the fort defense section here would be nice. We have a lot of forts. So I'm thinking that maybe that could be something good. Anyway, let's go for some more tech here. Let's go for maritime patrols, capital import routes. I'll definitely have some of that. Can I get anything here? What don't we have? A surplus of. I don't have a surplus of papyrus. And, oh, civic tech investment plus 5%. Yeah, let's get for that. Definitely go for that. So that would directly affect our tech. So if you can see here, look now. Um, we're up to 75%. It's because we have the surplus of papyrus in the capital. So this guy has 7 finesse. So it counts to 70% uh, speed, uh, research speed. But the plus 5% from the papyrus. So it always helps, honestly. Any little helps when it comes to tech. So all that is good. And I think now comes to beg that what well, begs the question that what should we do with the um, kind of minorities here? Like we have a big Macedonian minority, a really big one. So maybe if we integrate them, I mean, I'm, I mean, we've got a lot of Hebraic pops. I mean, look at all the Hebraic pops here. I mean, it is doable. I, I, I don't know. You know what? We'll wait and we'll assimilate. We'll, um, co we'll religiously convert them all first. And then we'll see what we do with it next. Um, I know what I need to also do. I completely forgot. To move my province capitals. So I'm going to move the capital to this one down here. Because it's not in forest. I don't like forest. Because it gives you like... Um, pot capacity minus 10%. So I don't like having them as province capitals. So I'll put this one here. Which is pretty fine. Um, then I'm going to put this one over here. I will move it to this big place here. This is massive. So I'll pop that here. Here is going to be Antigonea. It's oh no, we've raised the city to the ground, so it's no longer there. So maybe from the ashes of this place we get another city. We could definitely do that, or we could just move it to Hadad. Should I move it to Hadad? I mean, it's less issue. You know what? We'll move it to Hadad. 
We'll move it to a Hadad, and I'll get a fort there. Um, and yeah, we'll just like erase Antigonea from history. No one will remember Antigonea anymore. Antigonea will go down in the darkest corners of history where no one will freaking remember where it was. <laughs> that is a good plan. I like that. Um, what about here? Um, province capital here is fine. In this area, I could change it. I am going to change it here for the moment. Just because there is a city there, there's no other city in the area. So, I have built forts, by the way, on these two choke points. I find that really important, and it's going to really help us. So, I might get rid of the fort in Antigonea, to be honest. I don't really need that there anymore. We'll get rid of the fort in Antigonea. So, that's gone. I'm quite happy with the way that's actually turned out. And let's keep rolling. Bim, bam, boom. So, you want to trade? No problem. We're making so much gold per month. 50 per month is just insane. It really is. Peculating officials, so it has come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Haggai Zadokite, has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket for some time. The disappearance of monies collected from across Judea eventually aroused suspicions, which combined with eyebrow-raising extravagances such as extremely flattering statues of Hanalai being erected and could not be written off as mere coincidence. He can gain corruption. Um, so he learned a lesson, he gains corruption, he gains loyalty, I lose popularity, gain corruption. We'll recuperate our losses, and I think... That might be a good thing to do. Or oh, he's forfeited his position. You forfeited your position. And I could probably just put you back anyway. Could I put you back? I could. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved until we get someone, another child, who is actually of age. And then we can replace him. But we got, like, gold out of that. So, I mean, why not? So now we're going to go for maybe... What do we want down here? Starting experience, army movement speed. Maybe pop promotion speed. Liturgies, national tax. We're going to want that stuff. Liturgies, definitely. I mean, we make 47 of our gold from taxes. So 5% of that is always quite nice to have. Manpower up to 281 per month. Maybe we could start getting some more manpower hubs in some areas. I'm really tempted to do so. Like on the horses here and on maybe on, even on the ceramics. Like in the desert tiles where it's pretty useless to be honest to have like these things. So maybe we could just go for the barracks there. Barracks here. Um, I'll keep this, keep this here. That's a city. Really? No, I didn't know that was a city. We've got another city here. Did I conquer this? I can't remember. I think I might have done. <laughs> I really can't remember. Wow, we have a lot of cities. It's crazy. Um, maybe on the wood here. Oh, I don't actually have the gold, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep it going forward a bit. Um, Pontus Colopine wants to trade. Oh, we don't... Oh, I don't have the promise... We'll move it to Damascus. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll move the promise capital to Damascus. But promise loyalty needs to be greater than 50. Well, that'll go up on its own. As soon as it does, we'll move it to Damascus. I think that's a cool location to have it. Let's get something in Gera here. We'll get the barracks in Gera. Let's actually up the speed here. I don't need to keep it on speed 4. We can up it to speed 5 a little bit here. We'll get that there. And then we need to really go through every kind of province we have up here. And probably get three barracks where we can get them. Just to increase the manpower. Anyway, Scandalous Dominus, so while the occasionally rackish and loose tendencies of Saul Nazat are well known throughout the upper circles of Jerusalem, no one was quite prepared for the appalling slew of allegations levelled at him of late. So you've been having orgies with your slaves, so I can conduct a full and fair investigation. He loses loyalty, I gain political influence while I lose gold, and every member of his family loses 10 loyalty. A token inquiry could be sufficient, or honestly, why waste our time? Yeah, I'll gain a family. Uh, I mean, the Nazat family, I think the Nazat family is pretty big. It's not that big, actually. So a token inquiry would in would suffice. Yeah, a token inquiry. The family's tiny, so we don't really need to bother with that. Uh, trial development. So while the investigation into Saunders Zat was mainly intended as a symbolic gesture to ease tensions, it is clear that after some preliminary groundwork by jurists that the accused has been victim of slander, which bears no resemblance to his relatively mundane lifestyle. We all seem to have saved ourselves a lot of trouble and money by only half-heartedly investigating the innocent soul. All here agreed to is no risk of any sentence being passed unless some extremely damaging evidence comes to light. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I I'm on your side, dude. I'm on your side. You're loyal to me, so I'm happy with that. On time devotion, three stability. Thank you. Our aggressive expansion is going down by 0.4 freaking one per month. How come? Well, our chancellor gets it down by 0.20. 
Yeah, they must have retweaked this. They definitely have. That is insanely high. They must have retweaked it to get it down quickly so it doesn't really affect stability that much. I know they had a hot fix not too long ago, so I'm guessing it's that. Let's go for attrition here. We have enough, like, military experience. I'm going to go for the ship damage done here. I mean, it's not really effective at the moment, but it's the next one that's important, which will allow us to automatically unlock learning from the best. Now, I know um, someone put in the comments below that if I was going to get a navy, not yet. I don't really need one to fight Egypt and the Seleucids. Maybe once I actually beat them and we get the land needed, I might get a navy and continue a little bit the campaign if I get it done in time before the end date. So we'll, we'll see about that. I honestly don't really know just yet. Scandal doors closed, so the investigations into the accusations against Saul and the Zat can finally be brought to a close, having well established his innocence in the matter. A public apology and reputation of slander has been issued, though the identity of the libel's originator remains unknown. He gains loyalty, he gains popularity, prestige, national citizen happiness goes up, but slave happiness goes down. Well, that's not that bad. Treatment successful. Our son um, had a successful treatment. Let's have a look at all the children, by the way. So we've got this one here, he's 15. He's okay. What about the next guy? You're the same? You're a lot of zeal. Wow. At least we have like three extra boys, which is good. So the family should be able to like kind of keep going. And he's got a spouse, so hopefully he'll give us, you know, some uh, gentleman sausage, if I can say that. And uh, they'll actually get making children. So Luke, you want to trade grain? That's fine. You want to trade... What wine? Yeah, also be my guest. Take it. You also want to trade? That's fine. We'll we'll trade as much stuff as we can. Um, let's go here. I will build the barracks. There's a lot of desert here, so I might as well make most of the desert tiles. Like here as well. We'll go for barracks. I don't like having um, these things here. I really don't. I mean, this reads the wild game. I think it's crap. There's a city here, which is quite interesting. But we have no food. Of course, our army's here. Damn. Um, I need to move you guys somewhere else. Um, so you're going to go over here, actually. We'll move you up north. Of course, here we're, like, eating all the food, so... There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. On the horses as well, we'll go for barracks. That seems to work pretty well. So that's three over here. Now let's think of the three here. We'll get... No, that's livestock. We'll get one on the honey. We'll definitely get one on the honey here. So we'll get one here. Maybe on anything else. Is there anything we can build it on here? The hemp. I don't like hemp. Hemp is a crap resource. We'll get one on the hemp. Uh, the statue of Anias Zadokite. So the people of Tyros have raised a large statue of our esteemed ruler, Anias II Zadokite. Though the statue is lacking in certain important areas, it would not be taken well if we were to rip it down. Uh, we'll be grateful for this. Local pop happiness or... I lose popularity. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's um, accept it. Local pop happiness. I lose a bit of popularity, but pop happiness is fairly important. So we'll, we'll take that. Maybe on one of the wood resources here as well. Maybe here we'll get another barracks. There we go. Just get a few of them over all over the place. Because the quicker we can get them... I mean, our effectiveness to fight will be depend on how quickly we get our manpower back. Um, over here now, I need to find out where I want to build one. Um, maybe on the wood here. On there, maybe. On the wine, there. Uh, what about here? I have a lot of wood here. We'll get some on the wood in this area, I think. Oh, what's this? Samuel Manali died of a terrible fever. Poor guy, and I'm no longer importing grain. Where to? We'll check that in a minute. We need a new car, huh? And I'll put the best man for the job. I think maybe you? Ezekiel Marcian. Put you there. Let's have a look at our trade routes, by the way. I know we have a few that we haven't done, and I do want to import some food here. So we'll get some grain from Carthage. We'll also get some fish from Egypt. We'll get an extra set of grain from Carthage. And then I'll get some gemstones from Syria. That's fine. I shall solve this problem. Here we have enough food, so I'm going to get something that's worth a bit. Incense, that's pretty neat. We'll get that from the Seleucids. Here do I have enough food? We do have enough food. We'll get some... Something that's worth a bit. Maybe some cloth. From Carthage. Local noble happiness. All this is all good stuff. What about down here? Do I have enough food? No, we'll get some grain here. Get a little bit of extra grain. What about this area? We have a lot of extra food here. So we're going to go for some precious metals. Uh, oh, what about here? 
Oh, a lot of food as well. We'll go for some precious metals as well. Precious metals gives us a fair amount of food. Of, um, not food, but of gold. Here we'll get some grain. We'll get an extra set of grain here. Just so we can feed the province. And now we should make a little bit more gold. 58 we make now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, for God's sake, I'm no longer importing incense. Are you kidding me? I just did that for no reason. Well, I'll get precious metals then instead. We'll get it from Thrace. There we go. Nergbal Eriba Bit Ayaki died of fever. He was a chancellor. That's a shame because he was brilliant at his job. And this guy is even... This is, guy is awesome. We'll put Harsom Josephus. Oh, yeah. Although, is there any laws we can change? There is. And I'm thinking of this. And that religious conversion. We are trying to... Turn, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to just, like convert a lot. So let's um, bang on religious conversion here. All right, I lose a bit of stability, but it is what it is. And maybe here we can go for this as well. Our desired Freeman ratio in cities. This would help with our manpower. I could do this as well, which means then that would even out the thing we took for religious conversion. So we would no longer have minus ten for generals. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. There we go. So double law change. We have low stability, but whatever. The double law change, I think, is going to work in our favor because now we can convert a lot quicker. I mean, if I go somewhere over here now, we have plus 30% to conversion. I mean, look at this, 4.37%. In no time, this is all going to change into Jewish. And the good thing as well now that in, if I go into a city, let's find it over here, a few pops. And now we have more Freeman ratio in our cities, which means that, of course, we're going to get more manpower back. And tech-wise, we're already quite high up, so I can afford to lose a little bit of tech. Especially since I could probably go for some extra research efficiency, to be honest. I could change this at some point when we have no corruption. Like Route 9, I could probably change this very quickly and go for some extra research points plus 20%, which would boost our research up and then compensate for the loss that we all have in tech due to the fact that we're promoting some more Freeman. Um, and I think that would work well. Um, let's just quickly check around here. So where do I want to build? I want to build one here. We've got a barracks here. Go for barracks on here as well. The barracks down. What do I have two here? Oh, Cedars of the Gods. Oh, that's cool. Extra resource being built there. Yeah, I'll probably go for one here, to be honest. There we go. Minor addendum. Six stability for ten political influence. Nah, not yet. I can't trade that off just yet. So we'll pass on that. Here we need to get some... Um, we need to get a, what's it, some barracks. I'll see where I'm going to build that. We'll do this event first. Nikephorion prospers. So the Council of Nikephorion have sent an envoy proclaiming that harvest, trade, and taxation have all produced a huge surplus this year. So they can either take the money ourselves, we can give it to the merchants, get a marketplace, hold some games, equals province of provincial loyalty. Yeah, we'll get local freemen happiness, which means they'll produce more manpower for us, and we'll increase province loyalty. Cassius Manali died. Poor guy, it's the royal tutor. So I'll put you instead, Joshua Scamiot, why not? You're pretty good. You have a major family, and it would work. Um, here, let's have a look where I want to build stuff. We've got some wood here, so we're going to build the barracks over this side. Maybe here. Oh, here I've got incense, and a lot of it. I might actually build a slave estate. Yeah, I think I'll get a slave estate here quickly. That should increase our cash quite a bit. But then they're not happy just yet, so I think that's why I've got a lot of unrest. But we'll see. Don't want that there. Oh, olives. Yeah, I'm going to go for... You know what? Screw it. I want the extra manpower. We're going to go for double barracks here. I'm going to promote all them slaves into Freeman. And that would work well for us. No longer importing cloth there. Oh, well, that is what it is. Civil war will break out, potentially. Whatever. Um, and I think that's fine. We're now up to 200... Oh, we've gone down a little bit manpower-wise. But it is what it is. Um... How are our armies, by the way? This one is nearly... Wow, well, we've got 30k stat. We need to wait to fill that up. 30k. And this one's going to take forever as well. A civil war will break out. Why? Who is this guy? Levi Manali. Because he's got... Yeah, of course. Commanded cohorts. Plus 43. 47. Head of family. It's normal. But I suppose we could bribe you. And that just solves the problem. It really does. Um, you are dying, you're old, so you're not going to last very long anyway, so, like, meh, whatever. <laughs> it's like, there's no way you're going to survive that long. 
Um, all of the forts have been built here, which is good. So this is going to help with unrest. Our pop simulation speed, I want that. This is the extra civic advances. Citizen output as well. Um, no longer importing any grain. How come? Yeah, I don't need any more food there. Let's get something that's good. Like incense here, that's expensive. Here we can get something else as well. We'll get some gemstones, which is pretty expensive. Um, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, Turbulent Priest. The High Priest Ezekiel Marcian has made it clear to the priesthood that it can no longer tolerate Anias' Zacharias' godless impiety. Make a large donation to the priesthood or I'll lose legitimacy and lose loyalty with him. Yeah, whatever. I'll lose some legitimacy. We need to get a legitimacy up, though. It's going down. What is our tyranny reduction at the moment? Not a lot. I think we should prove legitimacy. Negative stability really hurts that. Oh, no longer putting grain again? Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, I'm going to import someone else. We'll get silk. Screw it. We have enough food there. That's fine. Uh, they want to trade. Be my guest. And I just want a little bit more gold so I can get the pop assimilation speed. And now we should... Yeah, look at this. The Jewish faith is spreading like wildfire. Which is really good. It's not going to take very long at all. How long does it take? A couple of years. That's all it takes. It's insane. Now let's go for the pop assimilation speed now for 10%. It's definitely going to help us, that is. Antigonids want grain? Yeah, fine, we'll trade with you for the moment. Look at all the Hebrew. Look at all the Hebrew pops. This is good. Think To think out when we started off, we like had nobody, like no Hebrew pops and no kind of Jewish faith or no kind of not much like Jewish land. Now a lot of it is Jewish. Look at the speed at which this is going. It's just insane. Which is absolutely fantastic. It really is. I'm really happy. A pile of state. Lose 300 gold, gain 6 stability. Yeah, we have... Donate to the poor. Yeah, I have a lot of gold and we make it a lot. Make it quickly, so I'm just going to donate. I mean, we make 49 gold per month. So, really, it's not a problem at all. No longer importing incense. I'll go for precious metals instead then. Screw it. More than enough. What about in our capital, by the way? What's our capital like? Jerusalem. We need another aqueduct here. Look at the nobles. The nobles are really happy. Ah, oh, poor harvest now. Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose some popularity again. That's a bit of a pain. I don't like that, but it is what it is. And maybe we could actually go for some farm settlements now. And increase our food output where we can get it. I think we could, you know, get some buildings going around the side here. Unless there's anything tech-wise that we want. Citizen output would be nice, but I'm not desperate for that yet. I'm really not. Next one, army maintenance cost minus 10%. I want that. But yeah, we're not desperate for, for for the tech just yet. So let's go for some farming settlements in the areas that we've had for quite a while. Like here, 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 and here. And then we'll go for them in the other areas as well. A Goliath Zenin had died. Poor dude. Gera want olives. Be my guest, Gera. Religious proceedings. So a struggle between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants have recently come to light. As the populace at large feel like the religious ceremonies are inaccessible and distant. On the other hand, the high priest and his attendants demand the distance needed to do their job properly. An argument that the peasants have no right to the inner circles. At least five stability, gain omen power. I'm going to do that. Extra omen power means extra manpower reinforcement. It would seem Milk Palace Margot, despite his incarceration, has managed to spread some particularly vile rumours of us. Make him disappear. Yes, please. Thank you. He can disappear. He's gone. He's dead. Okay. Let's build the farm here. We might as well increase our productivity, and then we'll build slave estates in where we can build them. And since we have a fair amount of slaves, I think that we should be fine in increasing our income that way. So a guy died and it was the governor of Syria. So I need a new dude. Hopefully someone that's like loyal and got something good. You've got local fort defense. Citizen happiness as well. That's pretty neat. But you're just. So let's go for you. Bel Belbushu. Aramaic Jewish. Let's pop you on here. Why are you pissed now? Oh, because you've got a big power base straight off the bat. So I'll bribe you quickly. Have you changed any of our things here? Oh, you have. 
I've got to change all this back now. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, I've got to change all this back, and it's going to cost us some political influence, which is a shame. It's going to cost us a fair bit, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. This guy's a bit of an idiot. I don't know why he did that, but it is what it is. Um, let's cool down the manpower recovery speed again. I know it's not original, but I have to do it. Um, this means we can go for maybe... Another import route. Yeah, let's go for another import route in the capital region. We'll get as many trade routes as we can possibly muster. Here we need to change this. I need 9 political influence. I need 1.94 per month. That's not that bad, actually. And I forgot something. You need to drill. Because now I'm not making enough. We've gone down a bit. And you need to drill as well. The good thing is this is at 30k now. Which is fine. So that army's full. We have another sun. Which is interesting. You're crap as well. Are you kidding me? Why are our children awful? Why? I don't know why. So, I'm just going to put my boy here. And I'll put Nathaniel Manali. For the moment there. And then, I need a Nizat next. Let's have a look at the families. So, the Iscariot's got enough. So, we need to get rid of an Iscariot. Or get rid of you and put someone else. Yeah, I'll get rid of you and we'll put Nizat here. He wasn't part of a big family, so that gets rid of the Scorn family crap. I'm happy with that. Here we'll bang on religious conversion as well, just to get this all going. I mean, look at this. It should be Jewish in no time. Then hopefully we could um, assimilate a lot quicker. A city lacking prayers. So it seems the city of Nasana and Philistia has shown a lack of faith and prayers recently. Dropping up several of the prayers of the day, they are starting to show the faithlessness of our polytheistic neighbours as well as an interest in other religions. Yeah, time to instill traditions, but I'm going to lose political influence. I can't. I don't really want to lose a local manpower here. Yeah, I'll lose. I'll, I'll start. I'll go down to negative political influence, but that is not too much of a problem for me. I need a new orator researcher. We'll put Al Gangisco. You're the best one possible for the job. Now, let's go back to the farming settlement project we had. Um, so, we'll put these up here like this. That seems to be pretty fine. Matthias Iscariot died now, poor guy. Commercial Ventures, that's another trade route in our capital area. What can I go for? Olives, a surplus of olives. Oh, I can go for a surplus of olives. National Slave Happiness, yes please. Get it from Rome. Oh, that's good, that's increased the happiness of the slaves, I'm happy with that. The Civic Research, I'll put Saul Nazat, you're the best one possible. Have a little bit of gold, let's go for another farming settlement. We'll get all these farming settlements going, and it's definitely going to increase the amount of food we make. And then we'll go for the slave estates, which will increase pot capacity, increase slave output as well considerably, which is what I really want. But um, I'm going to end the episode on that, people, because um, about, about half an hour since I started. I um, in the next episode, we'll continue getting our manpower back. So we need to get this back to 30k, and then I'll probably get another 30k stack. Two 30k armies is now going to be the thing that we need. Um, hopefully we can get that. And then, of course, the next war would definitely be against um, the Antigonids again. I just want to finish off these guys. So I'll definitely declare war on one of these two. And uh, then we'll try and get Bambis off them and these two. Just to kind of fill out what we need. Um, and then I'll just get them to break up the Antigonids. I might break them into multiple pieces. I don't really want any more land off them after that. I just want the land we need to in order to get the Kingdom of David achievement. But um, that is going to be for another time anyway. Maybe another couple of episodes before we can get the war going. But as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. If you enjoyed the series as well, please don't also hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. And um, of course, um, don't forget to also hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a video. But thank you so guys for joining me. I'm really enjoying this playthrough. This series has been an absolute blast. It's so challenging and so rewarding when you do something correctly. And I hope you guys are enjoying me um, in the ride. So um, anyway, thank you for being here, people. And I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.